Hey everyone, my name is Robert and I wanted to do a quick uh, review on this Flash, for Flash Forge Finder 3D printer. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm a beginner to the 3D printing world. I've had this thing for about a year and uh, within that year I've learned quite a bit about, you know, how to 3D print, uh, making my own objects, um, and then manipulating current ones that you can find online. So, um, with that said, uh, this thing uh, it has about maybe like an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight, uh, print bed on it, which I think is big enough for, for a beginner. Um, I've made maybe one modification um, that is basically on the back. Um, this allows me to hold different uh, spools um, that are larger than what would normally go in this item right here uh, that comes from the, the factory. So this was also kind of my first forte or foray into making my own uh, 3D um, object and uh, helping me to modify this thing so I could actually use, um, you know, different PLAs uh, from different companies. Uh, so far, again, you know, like there's a lot of pros to this thing. Uh, one, uh, there's an LCD, LCD touch screen on the front that allows you to basically to not have to use a computer if, if not needed uh, to print any items that you have. Um, also there is a USB port uh, which hopefully you can see. Uh, so that USB port lets you uh, plug in basically any USB device uh, and I think this thing can read maybe like um, 32 gigabytes or something like that uh, for a uh, USB device. Um, some other things is basically the whole setup to get this thing up and running. Uh, that's all you need to do is use these little wing nuts on the bottom, go through a kind of step-by-step -step, uh, procedure on the front using the LCD device, turn those things either counterclockwise or clockwise to get this print bed um, level. Uh, it beeps at you basically to let you know that hey you're on target or not on target. So it's actually really really quick and easy to get this thing set up you just you know do that and then after that you just um, uh, insert the the PLA that's what I use in this thing and then you're ready to go so um, other than that like I use this thing to basically print a bunch of different items around the house and sometimes for my car like right now I'm making a phone mount uh, to hold my phone in my car but I've also used it to, you know, uh, help me with other projects around the house, say like light switches, um, you know, door handles, um, uh, things of that nature. So because of the smaller print um, area on it, uh, you know, you're not going to be building uh, gigantic things. So say like I have a um, Pixel XL2, um, I wouldn't be able to uh, print a, a case for it on this thing because the print bed's a little too small. But for the most part, um, I've been able to print pretty much everything that I've uh, kind of thought about uh, for this thing. And, uh, you know, for a beginner uh, like myself, I think this is the right size, kind of like a Goldilocks syndrome. Um, it's perfect for what I need um, and it's perfect for what I'm trying to get out of this thing, especially for someone that's really the first time kind of going into this. Uh, for the noise level on this thing, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, the fan is, you know, it's not too, too loud. Um, and it's kind of just, you know, it's like white noise. Um, in the background, it's, it's not too annoying. Um, but for the most part, if you're looking for something that is super duper quiet, um, this is probably not going to be it. But for the most part, um, it's not, it's not like a jackhammer in the background. So... Uh, it's not going to bother you too too much. Uh, my favorite things about this thing is also I really like the, the fact that there's a touch screen on the front. Really uh, simple setup procedure and then um, you know it's, it's, it's really basic uh, even though it can do some pretty advanced things. Uh, I myself uh, have been trying to get more into building my own um, objects from scratch which <laughs> I must say is um, a little intimidating uh, depending on the complexity of what you're trying to do but for the most part um, whatever you throw at this thing this thing can actually print out and it does a good job of printing 
Um, right now I'm using a uh, off-brand PLA. Um, from that, it's, it's actually been warping some of the longer straight objects. Uh, so, you know, my next set of uh, PLA I'm going to, or filament, I'm going to be um, actually going with a different company to see if that fixes it. Uh, the filament that did come with the printer actually uh, was really, really good and I had no problems with it whatsoever. I cheaped out and went with a cheaper option, but a fairly um, common company, uh, but it's just, um, it's just warping on me. So uh, for the next time, I'm definitely going to go with something else. Um, would I recommend this thing to a friend? Of course. Uh, if you're looking for a printer that is, uh, for someone like me, uh, a beginner, uh, I think this thing checks all the boxes. It's the right size. It's really simple. The user interface uh, on a Mac or a PC is actually really, really easy to use. You can um, connect it via USB, but the good part is also you can do it via Wi-Fi, which is really nice and allows me to be super lazy. So I don't actually have to be close to the device. Um, the only thing it has to be on, obviously. But uh, for the most part, you know, it's it's a good little printer, and they've been doing a lot of firmware up updates, which uh, keeps this thing nice and relevant. And um, from when I had it, from almost when it uh, uh, was announced to what it is today, uh, for the user interface on the LCD, it's been really, really uh, nice. And the upgrades have been um, very nice as well. So uh, for the actual software that comes with it, um, that's been a vast improvement too. So again, um, you know, I, I really recommend this. Uh, the price point is right too. I think it's about six or seven hundred dollars compared to what I was looking for, which had a larger print bread. But then I think that at the time was about twenty four hundred dollars. So on an ROI level, you know, this thing is a great starter. Whereas I probably would have kicked myself in the butt if if I would have got the more expensive option, mainly because you know how I'm using it is probably not as advanced as someone else. So. Um, this is this this really is perfect for a beginner's needs and someone that's really kind of getting uh, started in a 3D printing world and or just learning. So uh, for classroom um, or a university uh, introduction class, this is perfect as well. But um, click on the link in the description for more details or visit to buy a 3dprinter.com.